Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. Um, today we're gonna be reacting to Dan Pena on uh high performance people. So check out this video. By the way, the high performance people, the, the kids that are on the Hall of Fame, my Hall of Fame, have four or five characteristics. I'm gonna name just two or three of them. Number one, they give up social media unless they're selling on it. Number two, they work at a standing desk. Number three. They have a treadmill under the desk and they, it goes at four kilometers an hour. Number four, they work out three to five times a week between 30 and 60 minutes a day. The last thing is they make all their employees, their family, their wife, their kids, their parents accountable. Mom, is this an important call? I'll talk to you over the weekend. Thanks, mom. Click. So Dan Pena is not very popular. Um, and a lot of people that do know him, hate him, but um, if you really listen to all the words he says in his videos, he's absolutely correct on everything if you pay attention to what he's saying. Um, and this especially, and he is always talking about high-performance people. Those are the classes he holds. And uh, this, uh, these, these are important um, and interesting points that he makes because if you can maintain physical health, you know, if you can be in good shape, and this is talked about in, you know, by a lot of different um, people that with good health, you can perform your duties better and not just health, but holding people accountable, no matter who it is, uh, so that your time is not wasted, as he explains and so forth. But Kirby, I know Dan Pena is a favorite for you, so I'll let you dive into it. Yeah, Dan Pena. Uh, he's one of my favorites because he has that go get him attitude, and I love that attitude. I love the fact that he's aggressive and he gets stuff done. But no matter how much I like Dan Pena, I'm not gonna sit there and and uh just nod my head because it's Dan Pena. I think Dan Pena's full of shit when he said this because let's think about it high performance people, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, fuck Dan Pena himself, all the motherfuckers fat that shit. <laughs> so, do you have to work out to be? High performance? Elon Musk. Yeah, it's true. No, it look like he's seen a gym in his life. You see? that's So, I mean, I know I hear people say that, and all, oh, you need to work out and do this. Ah, oh, fuck that. I mean, working out is great. Being healthy is great to extend your life so you can do more, but working out is not going to put you into an all, you know, ambiance of people. I mean, again, like I said, look at the richest people in the world. It don't look like they've seen the gym a day in their life. Yeah. I mean, go down. I mean, only person that looked like he been to the gym is Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Everybody probably got a taco stuck in the back of their pocket waiting <laughs> for the interview to be over. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I see that all the time when people are like, oh, yeah, you got to work out six days a week. You got to do that. Is it good if you do that? Yes. But only thing it's doing is not, and this is the part he's not talking about. It's just making sure you're in a routine to give you the discipline to stick to a routine. That's all it does. It's not your brain waves are not clicking at a higher level because you told to walk on a treadmill and not choose to walk on a treadmill while you're working. I mean, so Dan Pena, like I said, I like him. I love his aggressive attitude. But this whole workout thing, I mean, I do believe getting off of social media is uh, key. And I mean, as you know, I did it myself. I was on social media. You know, the Facebook, Snap, Snap books and Insta, Insta books and all that other stuff that was out there. And uh, and the only thing I did, I seen how much time I was spending on that. And then I was like, what if I spent more time on making myself better? And so I cut social media off cold turkey. And then I used that money to learn more, get more educated, find more deals. And that part right there, I'm with them 100 percent. But the workout thing, nah, bro. And I work out, and I'm nah, I'm not I'm not buying it. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I in I would agree. I think I think being in good shape can at least have you think better and you know maybe perform better. But at the same time, I can speak for myself. Like you know, now I'm probably you know just now starting to exercise more than I did before. But it was just like I was, I I didn't see, and this might sound dumb but i've been trying to find ways to multitask to where i can you know do something where i'm productive as far as with the youtube channel or something 
and I can go walk or I can do something at the same time because really you have to find the time. If you're trying to build business, all these people that are in the gym all day and everything, you know, you, they're wasting time if they're trying to build a business. If they're in the gym for three hours, just lifting weights and they're trying to do meal prep and all this stuff, like you're thinking too much on just your body and not enough to grow your business or to grow, you know, your investing or something like that. That's the way I see it. I don't know if you would agree with that. When you first starting out, the, the grind is all all focused towards the business. Now, when you didn't got past the seed round or you got past the you know round where you need additional investors, and then you make a little time to go work out, but three hours trying to start a new business that's three hours too much. I mean, yeah. like Dave Payne said, thirty to sixty minutes. That if you're doing cardio, that'll give you your lungs a little, you know, go get them. But yeah, I mean, if they do it three hours starting out. Then yeah, they 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 worried about vanity more than they worried about this business. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, let us know what you think down below in the comments. What you guys do, and uh, don't forget to like, hit uh, hit the like button, share, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.